How's it going, everybody? It's Rosine here for Astrophysography. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not in a good way. This picture of M106 I have been arguing with for three and a half years. Almost three and a half years I've been fighting with this picture. I took this image with a ZWO183 mono camera through ZWO mono filters while I was reviewing that camera. And I have tried editing it. 10, 15 times through Photoshop. I've tried using Cyril. I've tried using Cyril's photometric color calibration. I've tried using Pixinsight's photometric color calibration, not a wizard with Pixinsight. I've used Photoshop. I've used Affinity Photo. I've even used GIMP. And I still cannot get an image that I'm particularly happy with. Now I come from the whole bad worker blames their tools. So I'm really hesitant to point blame at the data. I'm really hesitant to point blame at the equipment used. I more think it's a limit of my abilities. I live in Bortle 5, there is a bit of local light pollution, but when I look at this, I just think to myself, you know, there's no real color in the galaxy. It seems too brown, too muddy, too washed out in M106 itself. Star colors are nice, that's fine, because mono camera, but I just can't, yeah, a color that I want out of M106. I've looked at other reference photos. They all seem to have nice blues in them. I have the same problem with the drama, if I'm going to be honest. So I think it's time to ask for help. This is where you can come in if you wish. In the link below in the description, I've included a link which will take you to the Drive Google, to the Google Drive folder, where I've included all five of the raw TIFF stacks. Five being about four hours RGB, three and a half hours or so of luminance stack, and five hours of HA. Now I've put HA in this before and it makes beautiful red pops in the galaxy itself, but then it throws off the color cal calibration of the entire image. So feel free to go grab that data. Feel free to play around with it. And let's see what you come up with. I'm, I'm adamant that it's me. You know, I'm, I'm completely sure that I just don't know how to edit this data properly. But let's see what you come up with. Feel free to go to the link below, download the data. Um, when you go to it, it'll take you to the Google Drive. It'll probably come up with an error message. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a box or like a bin with a downward arrow in it. Click that and it will download the zip file. Unzip it, that's where you'll find the five stacks. Now, they are they need aligning, they need rotating as well, I think. It's, <laughs> it's a mess. But have fun with it if you want. Free data, if you want to use it, if you want to share it, fine, feel free, put it on your Instagram, put it on your X, put it on your Facebook, whatever. All I ask is that you just give me a shout, you know, just a little bit of accreditation where the data's come from, and also tag me in it. I really want to see the results that you come up with with this data. So, just a quick one right now. Have fun with it if you do choose with it. Our, let's see how what you get up with. I really am interested to see how you interpret the data that I took. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. We've entered week four of rain, so wherever you are, I hope you've got clear skies. It's not clear where I am in England, but what's new? Thanks very much. Hope you have clear skies. Keep looking up. Keep them cameras clicking. I'll see you later.